In this video, let's see a numerical problem which is based on the previous property that we studied which is property number 3. The problem says what? Let's see. It says verify above property. Above property means property number 3 for determinant A is equal to something like this. It is minus 530 minus 530291. What do you observe? You observe that you have two rows identical. R1 and R2, row 1 and row 2 are same. So that means by this property, clearly the value of determinant should be 0. But we have to prove it. So let's first solve it and then say that it is equal to 0. So I have the solution or the proof to this property and the problem. I expand along any row or any column. Since it is simpler to expand with maximum number of zeros, Let's expand along the column 3 wherein we have maximum zeros. You see here, right? So what is column 3? Which is column 3? This is your column 3. It has 0, 0, 1. Now 0 multiplied by something does not change anything. 0 multiplied by something does not change anything for us. So we don't need to bother even. This 1 is what is important. Now this one is in which position? It is third row, third column. 3 plus 3 makes it 6 which is even. So 1 into something. Now what is that something? We have to see. Third row does not make any difference to us because we have to ignore it. Ignore third row, ignore third column. The value is what? Minus 5, 3, minus 5, 3 that we have to take into consideration. Again I am speaking. 1 is there. Ignore this row, ignore this column. This is there. Now what to do to evaluate it? Just cross multiply. Cross multiplying gives me what? It is minus 5 into 3 which is minus 15. Then minus because we are going from down to up. And it is minus 5 into 3 which is again minus 15. Now what is minus 15 here? Minus minus becomes plus here. So it is plus 15. Minus 15 plus 15 is what? It is nothing but 0. Why? Because these things cancel each other. So that is what we meant that if any two rows or any two columns are identical, the value of the determinant should be 0. Now you understand that why these properties are important? Why are we studying these properties? Just because we know that with these properties our calculation will be simple. When you know this property, you will not solve it in exam. You will just see that okay, R1 and R2 are same. Why to solve? Just write the answer as 0. That is what the property does. It saves our time. 